All right, it's Trey Cross, and I'm back. And um, this week, we are working on a song, a hymn called To God Be the Glory. Okay, so this hymn is commonly, commonly used in many different churches. I know in my background, personally, the most common time we will use this hymn is when there's some type of celebratory or congratu congratulations type of moment when there's uh, been like a um, a promotion in the industry. I mean, not the industry, but a, a promotion in the um, in the ministry. Okay, like maybe maybe we have a new member of the clergy or somebody in the clergy has gone up a, a step or, or it's been some type of ceremony to um, promote somebody. So at the end, a lot of times we'll we'll sing and play to God be the glory. And then, um, and there's many other instances you can, where you can use this hymn, but that's the main, um, that's the first thing that comes, comes to my mind. So we're doing to God be the glory in the key of C sharp. All right. So that's to God be the glory in the key of C sharp. So uh, kind of like Amazing Grace, um, I like to start to God be the glory on the five. Just a single five note, which is A flat. So real quick, the major scale that we're using, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So, two, five, okay? C sharp um, bass on the left hand, and then a C sharp major chord on the right hand. F, A flat, C sharp, okay? Okay, then we're gonna go G, on the right hand, we're gonna go G, A flat, okay? And then we're going to land here. So on the left hand, we're going to play F bass. So on the right hand, we're going to play a C minor 6 chord. So all the lid. So to give you more context on what a C minor 6 chord is, let's just go to the C major chord real quick. C major chord, C, E, G. Make the C major chord minor by bringing the E down to E flat, okay? And so on, so so back up one more time. Every, as you know, every major chord is one, three, and five. One, three, five, or five, three, one, you know, you can invert it. So one, three, five. So we're gonna make it minor by taking the three, going down a half step, okay? So now it's a minor chord. Okay, so the five, which is G, we're gonna make that a six. Okay, now let's take that A, which is the six, and bring it down. Okay, now let's take the E flat and bring that down. So that's how I came up with that chord. Okay, all right, so let's go back to C sharp. So. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the uh, the C minor six chord, F bass, E E flat, A C on the right hand. Okay. Um, and then playing the melody on the um on the I use the melody a lot for a lot of uh passing notes. Okay. So C sharp. So we're gonna land on a four, which is F sharp on the bass. And on the right hand, we're gonna land on A flat major. So E flat, A flat, C. Okay. So we're gonna stay on the F sharp bass, and then we're gonna land on the F sharp major chord. C sharp, F sharp, B flat. Okay. F sharp major. Okay. Then let's hop on over to two. E flat major. I'm sorry, E flat bass. And um, on the right hand, we're going to play an E flat minor chord. F sharp, B flat, E flat. Okay. So then we're going to. So what we're going to do on the right hand, I use my pinky. I, I use my ring, my, my ring finger and then my pinky. Ring finger to hit C sharp. Pinky to hit E flat. Mm -hmm. This is another one of those songs that's really, really heavy with the melody, so you have to know it. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go to A flat on F sharp. Uh, I'm sorry, A flat bass, and um, we're gonna play C sharp major chord on the right hand. F A flat C sharp, and then we're gonna stay on the A flat bass. And then we're gonna go A flat major chord, E flat, A flat, C. Okay. Okay. So then we're gonna go to a um, a E flat major ninth chord and sometimes this is not all all the time thing sometimes I like to put a little more emphasis on going to that chord so I would like to go like C sharp I'm sorry E flat C sharp and then land on C sometimes I do it if I want even more emphasis I do uh, I play the octave E flat C sharp C sharp I'm sorry, E flat, C sharp, C. So, and then we're gonna play the land on the F, the E flat major uh, ninth chord. And like I said before, if you don't have room, if you don't have enough finger length, uh, don't worry about the F. Just play the E flat major seventh instead of the E flat major ninth. Okay. Okay. So the E flat major. Um, so it just starts off with the E flat major chord. E flat, G, B flat, okay? And then you add the seventh, which is D, okay? And if you can, add the ninth, which is F, okay? Then we're gonna go to the three, which is F on the left hand. And then we're gonna play an E flat um, diminished seventh chord. E flat, F sharp, A, C, okay? Then we're gonna land on the six, which is B flat, B flat minor. And then uh, I basically, uh, all I did, I just added, added that, that C. So B flat minor chord on B flat. So F, B flat, C sharp. And you could just add that C to just give it a little more cluster. Okay. E, C sharp, E flat, F. And so this is nothing but the uh, all it is is the, the C sharp major chord, A flat C sharp F on two, and then so right here, just real quick, just give you a little a little context before we get to it. Sometimes you can go to the five like we're about to do now. 
if you don't want to resolve or complete or end almost like uh it's almost like putting a comma on the on a sentence because you got a whole nother sentence to write instead of putting a period so this is like a comma okay so okay that's like a comma but if we if we wanted to complete it or like resolve it and like put a period on it we would do it like this See what I'm saying? Okay. So let's put that comma up there because we we because it because we don't resolve it every time on to God be the glory. We resolve it on every other time. Okay. Do, do, do. C sharp E flat F and then land on the um the A C sharp major chord on 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 two which is E flat. And then we're gonna go C sharp F. And then we're gonna land on A flat, okay? On the E flat minor chord, okay? All right. So F sharp, B flat, E flat, okay? And then we go back to the top. Right, let me show you that real quick. All I did was C sharp, E flat, but I just slid. I slid my um my pointer finger from B flat to C, and then I hit B flat and C sharp. I do that a lot on six. Okay, so what we're gonna do this time? We're gonna resolve it this time. And then we're gonna go to the five on uh, F sharp major chord, F, A flat, C sharp. And then we're gonna go, so from there, F sharp major chord on the A flat bass, which is five, okay? Then we're gonna stay on the A flat, and then we're gonna go to the A flat major chord, E flat, A flat, C. And then we're just gonna go to the one, on the one, um, C sharp on the one chord. Okay, F, A flat, C sharp. That's the whole song. <laughs>